here with my updated what's in my bag as I promised. Um, forgive me for sounding nasally but I'm coming down with something again. Uh, it's been like, I don't even know, I've been in between that sick phase, like I'm not sick but I am congested and I have a little bit of, cough, of a cough and my throat right now is killing me. But um, you know, the show must go on and I think I know why it is. Like I, I, I got the flu shot the one year and I ended up getting the flu that year but then I got the flu shot and two different, two weeks apart I got half a dose just because it made me sick the last time. And I haven't had a flu shot in maybe, I don't know, three years. And I just got it this year because it was mandatory where I work. And um, I've been sick. And I usually don't get sick. But I think it's that damn shot. But um, I'm completely off topic. I don't even why am I talking about the flu shot. Um, anyway. So. <laughs> uh, this is my new bag. This is the Petra crossbody bag from uh, Everlane and it's just a real simple black basic uh, leather leather bag. It's Italian leather I believe. Um, and then this front flap is suede. There is a pocket in the back and it's magnetic which I like which you can see fits a ton of crap in here you would be surprised as to how much I can fill this bag with even though um, it looks small it has a detachable shoulder strap and then inside you can adjust wow this is difficult to do okay we can adjust the strap itself so I can make the bag shorter if I wanted to but I'm pretty I'm not that tall but I'm pretty tall so uh, have it on like the longest setting and then it just says Everlane here and it has a pocket on the inside and then everything that's crammed in there and this is also magnetic and it has two little silver uh, feet and I've been putting I've been calling stuff like feetses and this um, what did I say the other day I was watching The Hobbit and I was listening to Gollum and he was saying Bagginses and and Hobbitses and now that's what I've been doing but the feetses of my bag are right here and I'm such an idiot. Um, such a geek. Anyway, uh, the, what I liked about the bag itself is that it's just a classic basic shape. It's a crossbody which I don't have to carry, I hate carrying bags around. Um, it's difficult, especially when you have children and you're lugging crap all over the place or you just want to get in and out of the car. Um, it just doesn't work when you have to tie your little one in the car seat all the time. So uh, the size is good. The shape is good. I like that it doesn't have any embellishment or something that would go out of style. I just think it's a nice classic piece to have. And the suede bit, uh, it is a little bit high maintenance. You just gotta be careful not to drop anything or if it's raining. I kinda, the other day it was raining and I like shielded it with uh, my sweater. But uh, if you spray it, it should be okay. I haven't sprayed mine though. And um, what else, what else did I wanna say about the bag? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I am very, very happy with it. I think the suede adds a different texture and just, I like the um, the way they play the each other off, or the way it looks against the leather. But I will shut my mouth up. And okay, so I will start with the back pocket, which is where I keep uh, my wallet. And it is this wallet from a brand called Vianel. And on the back, it just has my uh, initials. And it's, again, this is a leather one. And inside I just have some cash, my card, my license, um, what else is in here? Just like reward cards, like my Sephora card, my Space and K card, insurance cards, all that jazz. Um, I used to have like a long envelope, what those long envelope wallets, but they're just too big for me. I prefer something like this or even the card slot holders, those are really good too. 
And then I have my mirrored compact, and this is just the Chanel uh, Less Beige. I'm probably not even saying that right. And this is in the shade 30. And I don't necessarily touch up, well, blame to do, sorry. I don't necessarily touch up throughout the day. I just need a mirror. Um, but now that summer and spring are coming, I do get a little bit oily, so this does come in handy in the fact that it's a little bit darker in color. So, um, not that I get super dark in the, uh, the summertime anyway, but I always have that in my bag. Um, what else do I have in here? Uh, I have a little paper with all of my passwords for work. Um, Every like 30 days I have to change the password. There's like four systems I need to log into, so I just have it on like a little sticky sheet. I should put them in my phone or something, but I just find it pointless. And I try to make them all the same, but it doesn't work all the time. Um, and then I have the Clarins Instant Light the Natural Lip Perfector. It's always a mouthful. I can never say that without messing it up, but this is in the shade 04, and I want to say it's called Petal Pink. It's just a real soft baby pink. I love these things, and I have yet to try the stick lip balm ones. I'm really, um, I haven't ordered one just because I don't know what shade would suit me best or would show up on my lips, because sometimes lip balms tend to make my lips look redder. Redder. I don't even know if that's a word, but... The pigmentation, it's too red, so things like this kind of neutralize it, or like pale pinks and things like that. So that's all that I have in that pocket. Um, I would put my car keys. I also carry around my iPhone. Uh, this is the 5S, the gold one, and it's just in like a cheap, I think it's Spigen. Yeah, it says Spigen on it. It's one of those, um, what do you call them? Not a bumper case because this it has a, the clear backing but if I could walk around with my phone just like this I most certainly would but I would drop it I would be the one to drop it and crack it or something um, I do want the iPhone 6 so bad but uh, my upgrade isn't for another couple of months so I have to wait okay moving on to the actual purse itself inside I have Trident Wintergreen Gum. Yay. I never, I am that one girl who is always asking someone for gum because I always forget to bring it or I always forget to purchase it. And uh, I was so excited the other day because at work someone was like, oh, you know, I, I need some gum. I wish I had gum and I left mine. And I was like, oh, I have, I have, I have. And I never have. So, yeah rant over. I'll stop talking. Uh, next I have the Aesop Reference Aromatique Hand Balm. I do have a little bit of the Resurrection one left over. I think I prefer the smell of that one. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I think this one would work great for the summertime, summer spring, because it's very woodsy, very fresh, very cooling almost once I apply it and it smells I don't know it's like very herbally but it's a strong herbal smell and then once it starts to fade throughout the day once it dissipates it's it's not too bad and I can't obviously I can't sniff I can't smell it but I could smell the mint I wonder if mint's in here but either way I needed a new one because the other one was running low and I just wanted to try and see which one I prefer. And I prefer the other one, the orange, the resurrection one. Um, let's see, I have a mini can of the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. You guys know how much I love this stuff. Absolutely, absolutely love it. Um, I can't get enough of it. And it smells amazing. Uh, it's the only styling product that I use on my hair other than like leave-in conditioners or something like that. It is this. Um, I've tried nothing like it. I've tried the Bumble and Bumble things and it's this one all the way. And this is the purse size one then. 
I have some headphones. These are the iPhone ones. Next, I have the Tom Ford lip color in Raphael. This is one of the, um, the boys collection ones. And it's just this bright orange red. Uh, I like to carry a bold color with me just in case I feel extra special and feel like putting something on. Next, I have the lip gloss that I actually have on today. This is the YSL Volupt or Gloss Volupte Volupt. I don't know how to say it. And this is in the shade 203. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but um, yeah, it's a pretty peachy very very uh true peach there's no pink in it at all i love that one and then i have my sunglasses and these are just the ray-ban um aviators and i think this is style let's see it says the 3025s the large metal and they're just all black i have wafers and sometimes i flip flop between sunglasses but um during the summertime, summer, spring, I really like the aviator style a bit more. And I should have them in a case, but I don't. I have this cute little Chanel pouch. Now, I know a lot of people say that these, that they don't know why the higher end makeup products come with these. They don't know what to do with them. Inside, I have liners, feminine wipes, some Aleve packets in there a hair tie, um, I am like, I like to be prepared for everything, I have band-aids in here, I am a mother, so I always keep stuff, you could, I even put, um, tweezers in here, because sometimes they have the little pockets where you can put the brushes, or that the brushes come with the compact, so I like to put tweezers in here, you never know if someone gets a freaking, what do you call those, little piece of, uh, wood, a splinter there you go splinter you never know who's gonna have a splinter who's gonna need it pulled out so take one of these little tiny tweezers and just stick the guy in there and wrap it up and it won't get tossed anywhere it won't get thrown anywhere no one will see it you don't have to worry about a tampon or a pad flying out anywhere that you don't want anyone to see um so yeah i keep everything in this little pouch um Let's see, I have the Aesop Rosehip Seed Lip Cream. Now this, I don't necessarily like to use it as um, a lip moisturizer, but it is good as a primer for your lipstick. I don't know what it does, it just smooths everything out and as soon as you put lipstick back on, um, it just makes it look really, really smooth and I like that. And I feel like if I don't toss it in my bag, I'm not gonna use it if I leave it here in the house. So, have that. Next, another, I have, it's like an Aesop party in my handbag, but I have the Resurrection Rinse Free Hand Wash, and this is just um, a hand sanitizer. I think the bottle's real cute, and it smells like the Resurrection um, hand cream that I had, the hand bomb, but um, just the, uh, what do you call it? The hand sanitizer. And uh, it doesn't dry out my hands, that's why I like it so much. And you can just reuse the bottle once it's done. So I have that. Another Aesop product, and I actually used this in my previous video. Um, I usually, come summertime, spring, I carry a bottle of the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. And uh, every year I purchase a new one. And I thought that I'd give something else a try. And this is the Immediate Moisture Facial Hydrosol. It's the same thing. Facial spray, just use it. It says, um, ideal for fatigued skin exposed to drying environments such as an office or air cabin. It refreshes and tones skin uh, congested by humidity and pollution. So you can spritz it on your hands, spritz it on your face. I figured for those hot days or days that are muggy outside, I can use this. And this is a little bit more pricier than the Caudalie one. I think that one's like 18 or $19. This one was about 25, I think. Yeah, 25, but um, so far I've tried it and I like it. So 
I will, I'll let you guys know what I think and maybe even do like a comparison post uh, between the two. Then I have some beauty products rolling around. I need to get um, a decent sized the makeup bag for this particular purse. But I have the lipstick that I'm wearing underneath the gloss, the YSL gloss, is the Givenchy Le Rouge and Beige Plume, Plume, I don't know, 102. And again, just a peachy color. I'm trying to do the whole peach thing, but I don't know how, um, how long I'll stick to it. I am very accustomed to my brownie nudes, but anyway. The lipstick is in this cool leather packaging. I love this one. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk, which I have reviewed. It's just a basic, cool, everyday, natural lip liner. And um, it's good to just have in your bag. And then I have the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which I am at the end of it. On the inside pocket now, of the bag, I have the Tachta, if I could get it out, the Tachta, um, these are their blotting papers. Now, again, I don't use these too much during the winter time, but spring, summer, I will um, start using these, especially on really hot days, I get really, really oily. So uh, I just have a packet of these, and um, what else is in here? Oh, and my giant, food bonus card and I think that's it yeah that's pretty much it now on the inside you can see it's pretty spacious and then here is that extra pocket I was talking about and it has a little snap button so if you wanted to close that up there you go and all that fits in here and I still have room to put other things um, that's just what's I just been living in there right now um, so yeah uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you for, what is it, monthly favorites time? Yeah, I think so. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!